guys welcome back to my channel um i decided to do a video on what a realistic cage would look like what a bird's cage would look like because i've seen many people who do cage um they kind of do like cage tours but then their cage looks way too pretty and i'm like that that's not what mine look like hello you such a cutie pie okay so i'm gonna show you guys uh, my birds cage which this cage is going to be um blossoms edward which is over there and the muffin which she's kind of hiding um and then i have muffin but i'll show you guys muffins later um also i know some people are gonna ask me they don't stay inside their cage um they're probably out for a solid eight to ten hours um yeah so they don't spend a lot of time in their cage. Most of the time they're kind of on my shoulder hanging around or stuff like that. Um, a lot of the toys you will see is also not a lot. I think in here I have only a couple. Um, they're DIY toys. So yeah, which I will have a video coming up next showing you guys um, what my toys or what kind of toys you could make at home, which I don't know how well it showing up on camera that's also a DIY toy I'm also testing new lights I'm not really sure how it's looking but yeah so first off let's start with the bottom of the cage which is um, the dirtiest part of my cage which is the bottom um, and I cleaned this on Monday yeah so today is Wednesday I don't know what day you guys are gonna be seeing it on but it's been two days and that's all the mess they made so yeah that should give you an idea that birds poo a lot <laughs> so kiwi's still inside and then edward decided to fly i don't know what it is but edward seems to have an interest for muffin by the way And I think we're settled. <laughs> They're all flying everywhere. Muffin is my blind cockatiel. There you go, Muffin. I mentioned it before, and I think some people still know. Hey guys, a Muffin cannot see, but she does have some vision, meaning that she could see some shadows. We don't exactly 100% know what that is. Um, she might just be seeing pretty much a light shadow or just poor vision just overall poor vision but we don't really there's nothing there's no tools where you could test that but um her iris i mentioned it before they when we were at the vet they didn't react um so yeah that's that's about it so let me start with the cages kind of rambling on i know some people don't use rope perches which this is a rope perch and some people do, some people do um i do think um overall it's kind of 50 50 it really depends on your bird now i have cockatiels which was a bit more riskier in this case it would be blossom i was slightly worried if blossom would chew on it or anything which luckily she hasn't i honestly was not concerned about my budget they just they're just not interested so that's what the perch looks like and another thing is i always renew it whether it's old or not like once every six months because even if i even if they don't chew on it, they they start getting a bit old and they have like these tiny fabrics and even though they don't chew on it, I kind of freak out. And it's not very expensive. It's like 10 bucks every six months. So like 20 once a year, which to be honest, I mean, for some it's a waste of money because these are perfectly working and I just throw it out. But it just helps me feel more comfortable. So I'm just going to waste my 20 bucks. So yeah, there's that. So this is a DIY toy I made a um, couple weeks ago actually. Um, I used foam. Yes, foam is safe for birds, you know, to use. If you are making your own DIY toys, they are safe, but they can't chew it. Now, that's kind of obvious. They shouldn't be chewing it. But the same goes for every toy. I mean, I know there's so many shreddable toys, which my birds absolutely love, but if they were actually eating it, no matter how expensive or how pretty a toy is, 
you just have to throw it out i don't see a lot of birds actually eating their toys but you never know um i am gonna make a diy video of how i do different toys and over there i'll get more in depth but this toy has been in this cage like i said for only two days and i just feel i feel kind of sad because it looks so pretty <laughs> I'll insert a picture for you guys if you guys don't believe me. I actually really like this toy, but I think the culprit is Kiwi. But I could be wrong. But I think it's Kiwi. <laughs> By the way, Kiwi chews everything. Like, she's just a chewer. Why are you staring at me? I'm trying to do a video. So this is a swing I had for such a long time. It's actually a really great swing. Um, my birds really like it. Um, Snowy would use the bottom part a lot, um, which was actually a reason why I wanted to throw it out because I didn't know how safe it would be. By the way, none of them would chew it. Snowy would use it for, um, oh, how else would I describe it? Like to, um, do dirty stuff on it. <laughs> she would use it for, <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. She would use it for adult stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah this isn't helping my case at all but she wouldn't eat it they actually don't even sit in the middle they sit on the sides over here if you know what i mean um and yeah they're kind of weird um this is a toy i got uh, this gotta be from PetSmart. um nine bucks ten bucks um yeah they seem to like it um i'm surprised it's it's still alive what Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because it's been quite some time. I think it's a very sturdy toy. Is that what you would call it? But anyway, they seem to like it. So it's 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 something I use. So there's that. This toy, um, I don't know where I got it from. But it's a very common toy. I think you could find it just about anywhere. Try like Amazoning it. Sorry guys, I don't I don't know where I got it from. Um but again it's it's not very pretty now at the very least i got it when it looked a lot better but this is what it looks like right now i made these two toys um one is an alligator one and then the other one is like a weird fishy one the fishy one didn't turn out as i wanted it but i mean it's okay um the white stuff you see at the bottom i actually use zip ties which you could use zip ties for toys and then the alligator toy i just used metal my birds are going wild, but I mean, we should get used to that by now. So let me show you guys the, the few other stuff. This is a Christmas toy I got when it wasn't Christmas and I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't know why I got it, but it was pretty. So I got it and I haven't been disappointed. <laughs> I think, um, I think I got this toy from Pet Value. It's a very nice toy. I mean, I like it. Uh, Kiwi really likes playing with this and so does Edward. Um, yeah, it seems like a nice toy, I guess, for them. Another toy I made, this is a starfish toy. Um, I really don't know what else to add to this. <laughs> it's a pretty toy, I like it. It turned out as I had hoped for. It's small and um, my birds like it, so I guess that's all that matters. Okay. Some of the other stuff, this is like a bird, bird YouTuber problem where they can't get good angles of the toys because it's such at a weird place. I can't just, you get the point. So this is an acrylic toy I got and then I don't even know if you guys could see it. That's another acrylic toy that I have and then there's that toy. Now that toy does have mirrors. I managed to pull one of the one of the mirrors. It's such a small mirror, it's probably the size of like my pinky. Some people might even be familiar with that toy. My birds don't really like it. I just put it. I don't even know why, but it's there. And then there's one more acrylic toy, which you guys are not gonna even be able to see. Let me see. Maybe I could do like this. It's it's like a parrot toy over over there. Sorry. So that toy is really nice. 
they seem to like it and then I made this DIY toy um, it's foam bunched up with little beads in between so yeah so part of me showing you guys what a realistic cage would look like is also showing you guys that uh, some of my perch will have poop on it that's because my birds will climb someplace higher and then obviously poop on the lower ones um, and don't hate on me like I said it was supposed to be realistic they pooped on it and it's only been two days so it's not like it was poop that was staying here for two days in fact there was no poo here this morning so I mean I'm gonna obviously wipe that off so this is a flat perch that I have. I won't be showing I think all my perches but you could kind of get the idea. Um, my flat perch, normally, I love them. The way they add character to my cage, everything about it I really like but poop tends to be a major issue because my birds really like flat perches or flat stuff to sit on and they poop on it. Uh, this I clean just about daily. Imagine how annoying that gets, but I actually clean the flat ones daily simply because my bird is on me. Anyway, simply because it just gets really dirty and I don't like it. That's why the color is on this. It was supposed to look like a watermelon. I'll have an image for you guys so you guys could compare it, but it doesn't look like a watermelon anymore. It just looks like a diluted green stuff. I mean, yay. So if anyone has seen anything about Muffin's cage, it's pretty much the same other than the toys. I have had a chat with my vet. She has suggested that we wait, uh, you know, we wait a bit before it's rotating the toys. So her suggestion was once a month. But the problem was, which she also said, if you find that your bird's getting bored, you could rotate it. And I found that one once a month for Muffin was getting a bit boring. So I change it every two weeks. And the big birds, not the big birds, but the big cage, I rotate the toys every week. So that's about it. The perches, thank you. The, the perches get changed once a month. The toys once a week. The perches here don't get changed at all. The toys once every two weeks. And then I'm going to try, I I'm, I'm not going to be able to put my hand in there. Like it's just not going to work. But this is kind of what the toys look like. She seems to really like this toy. Um, the top toy over there on this side is so hard to see. Let me see. Maybe like this. I don't know. You guys, whatever. You get the idea. That toy was DIY. That toy was DIY. The toy over there was DIY. That toy is DIY. <laughs> She seems to really like that one, so that's good. I know some people are going to ask me why the hell the bottom half is empty. And my question is, why the hell would the bottom be full? I know every bird is different, but my birds just poop on it. Like, pretty much all the toys and all the, all the perches, they just ended up getting pooped on. And not to mention, it's not like they play with the toys and then... You know, you get the occasional poop. I mean, it would just be poop and no playing with those toys. I mean, I guess my birds are smart enough to know that you don't want to really be playing with that. Um, and it, honestly, it would just be wasteful. Um, I find that that little bit of space actually is very good because my birds, especially budgies and cockatiels, I mean, that's all I have, but whatever, uh, they pretty much fly down. So my birds have enough space where they could fly in the cage. And you might be like, oh, that's cool. I think so too. Um, they fly to their food bowls. They could literally fly inside the cage. So, I mean, if you want to pack your cage all the way, I think that's great. If you don't, you want some space. I personally like it because I also take my birds outside so they can sunbathe. And, you know, they have that little bit of area where, where they could fly. This is a quick update on Kiwi. I mean, I have the time, so why not? Her seer has healed perfectly well. Uh, she is doing well. She seems a bit more tired than her usual self. That probably is because she's going into a molt. Um, she's going to probably drop her feathers soon. So she seems a bit tired. But other than that, she seems 
perfectly fine. Look at her. Look at her top. Her little funny feather. Anyway, she's such a cute wing. I love her. And then Edward, who just decides to jump in frame, uh, keeps um, Kiwi busy. He's doing fine. Some people were asking about his heart condition. He has a heart arrhythmia, so he has an irregular heartbeat. Um, I mean, I don't really notice it, obviously, <laughs> unless he's flying. He will pant a lot. Um, yeah, but other than that, he's also doing fine. Um, yeah. Kiwi looks very tired. Um, yeah, it's... Actually, I got new lighting, um, which is why you might be thinking it's daytime. It isn't. It's pretty much 10 minutes to becoming 7 p.m. And they actually sleep around 7.30. So maybe that's why. Are you tired? Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop doing the babbling. And then you can go to sleep. But I'm not too sure if Edward would leave you alone. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, I guess this is really the end. Bye-bye. Uh, and my phone's ringing. But anyway, bye, guys.